Hi Michelle, welcome back to my channel. <sighs> Busy day today and I got up early and we had a meeting but I didn't actually eat any breakfast unless you think coffee and a handful or two of cashews and dark chocolate is breakfast. So, But for lunch, I'm ready to go. <laughs> I am having a zero sugar smoked sausage, a Tillamook beef stick and then I'm going to either grab a cucumber or something like that <laughs> for um, my vegetable or I'm just gonna eat this and call it a day since this is a protein I can grab something else and not worry about it but I wish that I had thought to do that for breakfast but I totally forgot about it and now I don't have time so there we go all right, so we managed to get our frame up for our duck pen, duck goose pen, chicken pen, <laughs> that pen, and um, <clears throat> I'll insert a picture when I'm done, but um, we managed to forget one piece of PVC, so we, have to, we had to go back to the store and get it, and then we will take it out the next time we go out. I have, we've built a chicken pen which is a tractor like this before. It's been many years. So I just looked up online PVC chicken pen and it came up with something similar. And my husband springboarded off that idea. We still have to add a door. I'm not sure what we're doing for a house yet. Apparently ducks don't really care if you have a house, so we'll see. <laughs> it's gonna be used for outside in better weather than what we're having now, which is snow. So I think it will have to change once fall gets here. They're going to have to go in the barn with the other animals, but we'll see. Okay, so now that you had to see my duck house, I'll tell you how the rest of my day went. I had to go to Hobby Lobby to get something for my sister. And I walked into the store, not a problem. I couldn't find what I was looking for. And it, I tried to find a clerk to help me. And they only had, I'm assuming it's like two people working in the store. I don't know what the deal was. I couldn't find anybody to help me. So I wandered around the store for 20 minutes until my daughter was finally able to tell me where to find it. I should have just asked her first. Um, and then when I went to leave, I realized I had dropped my glove. So now I'm gloveless. And I called the store later to ask if anybody found it and of course nobody had and she's like we'll call back Monday and I'm like <laughs> and I have to go through the weekend without gloves or just one glove I suppose like I can't believe I did that I know pretty much where I dropped it to because I had grabbed something I don't I'm pretty sure I had them in my hand at the back of the store when I went to the front of the store and picked up what my daughter told me to get I'm pretty sure that's when I dropped it so Hopefully I, they find it when they clean the story, when they clean the store last night and I can get it Monday, but ugh. I am not sure I'm going back to that Hobby Lobby. It's not necessarily a bad store. It's just if you need help, you literally can't get it because there's not enough people. The line was pretty long too, which I get. I mean, that happens in some stores. It was just extremely frustrating that you couldn't get any help at all. I had to stand in line to check out if I wanted to talk to someone. And it's like, that's just odd for a store to not have enough people working there so that you could get help if you need it. I, I don't know how their store works, so I just thought that was very odd. And the thing was, is there was another clerk in the back doing framing. And I went back there twice. I saw the guy one time and he asked me if I had a question and I said yes. And he asked if it was about framing, and I said no. And then he just ignored me. And I'm thinking, okay, I wasn't asking him to check me out or anything. I just wanted to ask a question, and he wouldn't acknowledge me. And the thing, the people that were standing in front of me in line were, that's kind of strange. <laughs> you should probably just go somewhere else. He's not, because he walked, he went to go get something for them, walked away, and he never came back. <laughs> So when I came back again, because I came back again, because it's like I couldn't find anybody in the store. I walked all around. And I came back and they're like, 
don't bother. He's never came back. <laughs> I was like, that was not a very happy experience. If I know where something is at Hobby Lobby, it's not necessarily an issue. Singing in line is fine. But if I want to find something, yeah. I probably have better luck if I asked a customer. I probably should have done that. Actually, I asked the people that I was standing in line with if they knew where it was. They had no idea. They looked where, or they would look where I had already looked. <laughs> so, that was the oddest thing. I think I'll go to the, I have two stores that are local to me. I think I'll go to the other one. It might be a little easier to find what I need. This one, I've actually only been in twice. This is the second time. It wasn't, the, the first time it was fine. This second time was not a positive experience. <laughs> All right, so I actually don't have a picture for supper because I have a confession to make. I didn't eat supper, sorry. I actually just drank my um, DGMS that I made this afternoon. And what was the other thing I had in my, oh, I had some cashews. I wasn't feeling all that great. I was extremely frustrated <laughs> with what happened at the store and what just, I was so tired. I don't think I was just as frustrated as I was just so tired and then the frustration didn't help. So I actually didn't eat, which I know was bad because I don't even think I ate breakfast that day either. Yes, bleh, I don't think I ate breakfast day either, <laughs> but it was just one of those days where I just went to bed without. <laughs> And that's all right. That happens sometimes, but today, bleh. So, I'm hoping tomorrow's better. Or it should be anyway, right? <laughs> Let's see how it goes. <clears throat> I will see you tomorrow. Bye.